Scrutiny of how Richmond spent millions of coronavirus relief dollars now at the center of a recent examination by the city auditor. The whole purpose of doing the audit is not to do a gotcha. It's more to find the holes in government and to make sure that as we move forward that they're fixed. The city received $40 million in CARES Act funding from the federal government in summer 2020 to immediately help Richmonders impacted by COVID-19. By December 2020, the city had already gone through 94% of it. Councilmember Kristen Nye, who sits on the audit committee, says most issues involved the city department that addresses poverty. That's the Office of Community Wealth Building. Since then, there's been a change in leadership in that office, um, as well as some internal controls that have been you know, put together. So here's what the auditor found. The city gave nearly $20 million to third party contractors to provide services during the pandemic, but there was not adequate oversight to make sure recipients spent that money in line with the federal standards. Next, at least $84,000 spent on rental assistance were non-compliant with federal guidelines or wasted on duplicate payments. That number is only based on a small sample and the auditor says the total amount of ineligible payments may be significantly higher. Third, the auditor couldn't conclude if at least $50,000 of aid for businesses were used allowably due to a lack of documentation. Next, more than $400,000 were used to help Richmond Public School students with virtual learning, but proper controls, procedures, and training were not in place to ensure the program operated efficiently. Therefore, the money was not used effectively. And lastly, the city did a poor job keeping record of more than $1 million worth of gift cards distributed to citizens. In fact, the auditor couldn't account for potentially dozens of cards totaling a value of up to $44,000. There was definitely some holes in tracking who received them. I think it comes down to better bookkeeping, right? And so more training on how we go about bookkeeping, make sure we can keep track of those dollars. Mayor LeVar Stoney admits City Hall has room for improvement in money management, but he defends the work of essential employees during the height of the pandemic. Remember, this was an emergency situation and local government, uh, that's where the rubber meets the road. We had to step up right away, make sure folks stayed in their homes, make sure folks got fed, and we did exactly like that. And it's really important as we continue to take these ARPA dollars from the federal government that we are spending them wisely and that there are accountability for all of those dollars. And now that city watchdog did make eight recommendations in this audit. All of them were accepted by city management. Nye says that she is confident that they'll be implemented over time.